Ahlan ya ahlan ya shabab. Ahlan ya shabab. Hello guys and girls. Young guys and girls. Shabab means that. Um shab just for men, shab for women, for young women. Uh yeah. So in the previous video we just started to set up the few model test class. In this video we will start actual unit testing and since we start in a repository um, test class with fetching a task by ID, we will do here as well. So let's start by annotation test. Okay. Now let's start. Oh my gosh, there it is. Let's call when calling for task by ID for task by id then first what we test sorry uh, we test this method and as you can see it's basically basically just wrapped around this handle response basically what we're testing is handle response and first when this method gets called first we expect the loading state then we'll handle the response and either the response will be successful or error or we'll lock it but we'll only test um the loading this line this line and this line so we need again three tests first we we'll start start of course with the loading state uh, then expect loading state parentheses uh, curly braces okay let's start again with given mm -hmm. now we want to mock it the loading state because we can't do an actual HTTP request in a test and we don't want to do that so and this is because every call we say of our mock repository uh, get task by id and here we can say any and this is for coroutines coeveries for coroutines uh, and for, if this would be not a suspend function we just wrote every returns and we expect of course view state dot loading okay and then we say and then we have to um uh start to observe let's take our object under test and since we want just a single uh re response i mean the single object here task we say uh, observe forever and we need the response observer okay this is given now we come to our when when the call happens object under test uh, uh, da, 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 da. fetch task by id you can pass any id it doesn't matter just 22 for instance then we say then We verify we have to verify something gets uh, executed the response observer changed on uh, changed to few state loading and we just verify that it really happened with confirm verified response observer that this really got called okay nice now let's run this Yeah, the first time when you run test, it always takes a little bit of time. Yeah, but 
Uh, should be quickly done, I hope so. So, okay, looks good. Yeah, the test passed. It's nice. Okay. Okay, we have one successful test. Now let's continue. And as I said, we want to continue with the success case now. And then after that, we will do the error case. Let's just copy this because the beginning will be the same when calling task ID, then expect success state. So, okay, now we, let's start with given. We have to mock again. Basically, we can copy this line. Mm -hmm. And we, here we have to say again, few state, but this time success. And we have to pass it something. As you can see, it, it, it expects something. And here it is, a task fetch response. And we just have a fetch response as a global field. And that's it. And now we can again just copy this line here and then we say I mean then we can just copy this as well and here that the ID really doesn't matter you can have 1044 because we said here anyways at any it doesn't matter uh, because as you might know here fetch task by response handle task and here we have to get task by id yeah so it's just layered oh, okay 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 now we verify again uh, we say response observer first of course we want view state dot loading because even if in success case let's go walk through it First of the thing, this is called first. Okay. In the last time we just, in the la previous uh, test, we just said until here and no, no further, please. And now we say we want to do come to success. So come to success uh, first, this line gets executed and then we come to this line. Okay. Okay, 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 if you start loading and then we say response observer again on changed and we just can pass this line in here and this code snippet okay so and then lastly of course you have to always confirm verify this is really get executed and just say response observer okay now run both tests again hope this is should be now faster Okay. Yeah, nice. Both tests were successful. Alhamdulillah. Thanks to God. Uh, okay. Now we want to test the view state error case. Okay. So we don't want to. So, first of all, we again, this will be executed the loading state. Sorry. Here, this loading state. And then this should not be executed. This should be executed. Okay, the error case. So let's copy again. Yeah. Uh, now we have again, uh, we can again copy some stuff in here, the given stuff. Actually, just all of this we can copy, uh, but we don't expect, oh, sorry, too much, but view state dot error, and we need an exception, and we have one, we have the mock HTTP exception here. Let's use it. You can just again change the ID in here, doesn't matter. 
and now we verify again and of course this line comes now just duplicate it and then we just change to error and to mock HTTP exception as you can see here it has quite a pattern to test some things uh, verified response observer okay now let's run all of this again oh wait i can does it work ah yeah i, I have the shortcut also for this don't have to click again on the things okay both were successful that's great and that's the thing with unit testing i mean you can now i mean unit testing is as i said um, a good thing to see if your code is not to encapsulate too much you can if you can really test the logic you are applying and we just testing the few state logic if the few state gets properly um set in here because actual fetching from the API, getting data from the API and requesting data to the API happen, happen in a repository. And he would just set a few state um, cases. And yeah, for instance, um, if you would just say here, error exception, this would fail. As you can see, it failed because it, um, yeah, it doesn't. Uh, we it doesn't expect that this happen. So yeah, just put it back in here. And that's the thing about testing. It has. It, it's one thing. What I want to say is like you see if your code is. Uh, mm, wait a second. I want test, but I want test all of it. Uh, few more. Okay. Um, if you see, so if your code is not so encapsulated, if you can really test the logic you are applying, and when you do refactoring, it quite helps you because when you do the refactoring and you are maybe scared that you broke something, r just run your unit tests and then you will see. And yeah, that's it for this uh, video about um, testing the f uh, setting of the few state for. Uh, call when you're calling a task by id and in the next one we will just test the few state a setting here for creating a task so see you in the next video